Today is the 8th of December and uh, I was meant to be having a day off today and the plan was to script some videos in my notebook. My plan was to record some videos about what's happened is that I've been on the phone with an energy supplier that I haven't been with since February disputing a bill based on an estimate that they've calculated. I'm fully aware I haven't actually uploaded in, in a week or so. This is the talk episode 2 and today I wanted to talk about creativity. Creativity comes in ebbs and flows and I purposely turned on this camera because it's just my little point and shoot so it's not even like my ideal home setup. I turned on this camera because I really wanted to just communicate how I'm feeling now. I think creativity is one of these things that we need to allow space and time for. I think creativity is one of these things that you need to run off the emotions that you're feeling at any given point. I think it's really important to allow yourself time and space to get amused, to get something that you want to be passionate about. And for me, creativity comes in fits and starts, that's why we keep a notebook, that's why we record videos on our days off when maybe there's a little bit more room to breathe, maybe we've got time to think about the, the nicer things in life than just work and bills and money and everything. Well, thank you very much. Bye. And sometimes your conversation is stifled mid-flow by someone coming back off hold. One of the big things about video and creativity for me that I've been trying to work out is the workflow. So at the moment I'm sat here with my laptop and just working because that's all I've got on my day off is I do more work. <laughs> I wanted to talk about my intentions for YouTube and my intentions for this channel moving forward. We're in December, right? Now, my original intention for YouTube was to actually use it as a platform to talk about things that I'm passionate about. And the main areas of those are records, which you've seen a lot of, veganism occasionally, and alongside with that, more of like a, a social, humanitarian, environmental, uh, socio-political discussion as well because I don't really think that politics should shy away from public interest and I think at a point where we all have a voice we should choose to use that voice and express ourselves but then also have a discussion with it too. So that's the first part of it but the other part of it was to showcase my work. In the past I've made uh, zines, I've made a lot of music zines predominantly based around uh, a Christian subculture. Comment below saying I want a zine and I'll contact you and send you one and you can have a zine. But I'm working on a new one, um, this is the first time I've talked about that publicly um, and that should be out in the next couple of months. I keep giving myself timelines but when it comes to timelines they're all very variable and you want to make sure they they are met. The other thing is that I want to make music again. I was in three bands over my young adult life. One called Redemption Awaits. We used to play metallic hardcore in the vein of Hope's Fall or Norma Jean. I, had, I also played in another band which is probably the most established one just called We Are Revival and that was really fun. So that was uh, more in the vein of Under Oath meets Biffy Clyro and that was amazing. We toured a lot. Just got to hang out with the drummer from that band, Josh. Josh, if you're watching, you said you watched some videos. The last band I was in was this vegan straight edge band that I talked about in the tape video. Um, I'm really sorry about the tape video, by the way. If you've watched the tape video and you're watching this, I've been very much aware that it's not really in focus at all. But I want to be making new music. I've got musicians around me that are really passionate about doing different kinds of stuff. So I'm really hoping in January I'll be in a practice room and I'll be able to take my little point and shoot and come back and start talking about music. That's been a long road for me and I think I've needed to take a, a year or so of working quite hard to get to a point where creatively I feel like ready, like life has settled a little bit. Within that, I guess it always comes at a point like when I originally switched on this camera is that creativity should come from a place that is different than just your day to day. So if you're feeling sad about something or you're feeling angry about something or even if you're just elated about something, that's where it should come from. It should come from that place that's different than just, I'm feeling good. You've got that fire inside you that you want to communicate with the world. So I guess I want to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I've talked quite a lot and 
I really hope you guys find this video useful. Like I said, YouTube's really changed, so it would be a really great help for me and a great help for this channel. If you like it, give it a thumbs up on the little bar below. And then if you comment, if you've got any uh, creative inspirations or things that really help you get your creative process flowing, that would be really great to hear from you as well. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to it and give it a little click at the end. It would be really nice to hear from you. If you've got a channel that you think I'm really interested in and it'd be worth checking out, please comment below as well. I'm aware that I'm watching people that seem to be on quite a big scale and I really enjoy watching people like Richard Owens, hi I'm watching your videos, um, Mike Seatown who's really down to earth, um, I miss Curtis and I'm really glad that he did that witch cult reunion and, and I really hope that you're feeling better soon. I'm going to cut it there, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you next time, take care.